If you don't use an online dating website, you may be missing out on a chance to find love. And if you are using one, you have to be smart to increase your chance of finding the one online. Dating on the eve of 2013 is so much different in the internet age than when, you know, Ben and I were. Well, we were dating, <laughs> but when we were dating other people. We're both very happily married <laughs> now. Like that. Okay. <laughs> And dating expert Bella Gandhi is here with some tips for improving your online profile. Hi. Bella, Hi. welcome. Start with Thank a little you. awkward banter and then... Um... But dating is very different nowadays. Dating is different. Dating today can be more complicated than ever. I mean, 10 years ago, 20 years ago when we were all dating, there was no online dating. There's been a proliferation of ways to meet people. Okay, so many websites there that people can, can log on and create their profile. So Bella's going to talk about some of the common mistakes that people do. Yes, yes. One of the first mistakes people make is just being generic in their profiles. I mean, it's hard to write about yourself. Right. So don't just be like 9 out of 10 people that are stringing adjectives together. I'm kind, I'm fun, I'm spontaneous, I'm just as comfortable in jeans as I am in right, a ball right. gown. Show, don't tell. For example, kind. If you're kind, think of a one to two sentence example that shows how you're kind. Maybe I'm the girl that will make you chicken soup from scratch when mm -hmm. you're sick. Like that tells a little bit more about you, helps you stand out and differentiate All yourself. All right. Spelling and grammar, that should be obvious. But then let's go with another mistake, and that is your profile is either too short or too long. Let me guess, too long makes you look desperate? Too long. It, it, we're not looking for your personal autobiography or <laughs> yeah. manifesto. 250 to 350 words is perfect online. Again, showing and not telling. Okay, let's talk about the picture, right? Oh, the all-important picture, because we go by that, and you hear these horror stories all the time when you finally meet the person, you're like, well, you look nothing like your picture. So talk about the picture. So let's take a look at the picture. So, so this is a bad one? This is a bad picture for a number of reasons. So this picture was self-taken in a mirror in somebody's bathroom. You can see the mess in the background. <laughs> one of the key things to have a good opening headshot when you're online dating is you should be looking directly at the camera, smiling, it should be well lit, it mm -hmm. should be a great headshot. You want to put your best foot forward. And this is the same person but in a good profile. This pic. is what she actually looked like. So we right. did this Very photo different. shoot in our studio. Yes, and you need to have headshots and body shots. People want to see you head to toe. They want to know what you look like. Well, and for people who think, well, I don't want to put up a picture because I don't look, you know, I'll use one from 10 years ago. You're just setting yourself up to be disappointed when you actually meet. That's right. Pictures should be no more than one year old. Okay. Remember Very that. Cute. <laughs> one year old. Gotta be current. People want to date the person in the picture. Don't sell against yourself and put something that doesn't look like you. Okay, now let's talk. Oh, okay, now we're looking at the guys, right? That's a bad profile picture. Again, he's got headphones on. He had sunglasses on. Again, much better. We did this photo shoot last week. Mm -hmm. This is what, how cute he actually is. Uh -huh. He stepped up his dress. He's got his floor coat on, a crisp shirt on. He's kind of cute. Looks. Yeah, he super cute. He should be able cute. to find somebody. All super right. Cute. Quickly, let's talk about what you should include in your profile. So besides showing and not telling, what does that mean? So definitely you want to put in fun facts about yourself. Okay. So let's say, for example, you were the national hula hoop champion yeah. or something like that. Put that in there. Again, you want to stand out. And things to never include in your profile? Never include anything negative. If you're a party girl, pass me by. I don't want any drama queens. I don't want any gold diggers. Mm -hmm. It just says something negative about you. Oh, so just leave that out. Yeah, be positive, be playful, put your best foot forward. Nothing about exes, nothing about sicknesses <laughs> you've recovered from. Okay. Again, this is a big exercise in first impression. And, and Bella, you're optimistic. People can find love online. We've had five marriages, five babies just this year. So absolutely, and okay. this is online right. dating. Okay. Online dating. It um, works. In the new year. Thanks for coming in this morning, Bella. Thank you. Thanks for all that information. If you'd like to know more about Bella's tips, just log on to our website at abc7chicago.com and click on See It on TV. Still to come for us this morning, a look at the hot fitness trends of 2012. We'll have the story for you on Health Beat.